Hello, my name is Mike Sweeney from Phoenix to Symmetry. Today I'm going to show you the new Trudos from Thermo Fisher Scientific. The Trudos replaces the older EPD 2.5 dose meter. The Trudos comes in two different versions, a beta gamma version and a gamma only version. The real advantage is that this one's got a much better dosimetric response, 0.1 microsieverts per hour, as opposed to the older one which is 1 microsievert per hour. It also has Bluetooth connectivity with it, and the battery compartment is basically undone by two screws with a special tool. When you take the battery out, it's a standard battery, and you can either use a lithium battery 3.6 or a standard 1.5. For best results, use a 3.6 lithium battery. When I put the battery back into the unit, it'll go through a cell test. As you can see, this one's got an LED, also a vibrate, and a sounder. All of these are adjustable. The sound is adjustable up to 100 decibels and you can configure which alarm, how you want the alarm to actually go off when you set the system up on the software. I'm going to show you now some software called the RadSite software and the RadSite software allows a very simple method of issuing and returning dose meters. It also is compatible with the older 2.5 version and also the Neutron N2 dose meter from Thermo as well. So now I'm going to try and issue this dose meter with the RadSite software. Now there are, three, there are several sorts of docking stations available for the RadSite software. There's our own EP dock here from Phoenix, but you can also use the standard platter one from Thermo Fisher, or a simple dongle from Thermo Fisher, or the older 2.5 um, IR station as well. So if I now drop my dose meter into the issue station, it reads the dose meter, and I can now enter someone's ID number or type in their name. If I enter their ID number, it comes up with a person, and you'll now see you've got different activities. When you set the software up, you can set up different activities. Each activity can have preset dose and dose rate alarms. So I can now issue this one, for example, to medical physics department. It's now issuing the dose meter. It takes a couple of seconds. Once you remove it from the cradle, it's zero the dose meter, and it's displaying you dose, dose rate, also who it was issued to, and also a graphical display showing how much of the actual dose, dose limit has been used up from the preset alarm. It displays both H star 10 and H star 0.07. If I now return the dose meter, I just simply put it back in the cradle, it reads the dose meter, and then on the bottom of the screen here, it now shows you the cumulative H star 10 dose, the peak dose rate for H star 10, the cumulative H star 0.07 dose, and the peak H star 0.07 dose rate. When I remove it from the reader, the dose meter has now been reset to zero, and it's also been switched off, ready for the next reissue. This software also works in exactly the same way with the 2.5 version of the older EPD. So I pop it into the docking station, it reads the dose meter, that's now just been returned, and it gives you the same information. If I want to issue a neutron dose meter, again, I just pop in the dose meter into the docking station. I can now put in someone's ID number. It's now recognised in the software that this is a neutron dose meter. It will only issue it to an active neutron site. So this is going to the neutron site. It's issued the dose meter. It's switched it on. That's now recording both the gamma dose and the neutron dose. And when it's returned back into the docking station, it then gives you the actual H star 10 cumulative dose, dose rate, and also the neutron cumulative dose and neutron dose rate. All the data is stored on the software, and the software is a web-based system, so if it's on your network, you can just restore the data from anywhere on the actual network. If I want to look at the data from a particular person, I can click on the person's name, and I can then put in a date where I want to look at the data from, so I might go back to say October last year, to the current date, today's date, and then I can run reports for, for a particular person, so I could actually re run a report for monthly detail, activity detail, person detail, a monthly summary, an activity summary, a person summary, and so on and so forth. If I do a monthly summary, it comes up now with myself, and it shows you for March, April and May, how many times the dose meter was issued, what the H star 10 dose was for each issue, H star 0.07, the H star G, and also the neutron dose, and at the bottom here, the cumulative doses. And all this data can be exported in spreadsheet form to another system.
The dose meter also stores graphical information as well, so if someone receives a dose, it's possible then to pull up a, a graph. There's nothing on this graph, but it will actually show you a graph showing you the peak dose and dose rate and when someone, when someone had radiation. So it can be very, very useful. It's very simple to use. And that concludes my simple demonstration of the True Dose with the Rad Science software. Thank you very much.